Okay, are we ready? Well, thanks for being here today, everyone. I, I think uh, I, we, were, we were talking, with all the rain that we had this weekend, we weren't sure that we were gonna be able to be outside on such a beautiful day, but it's great that we are able to, uh, to have this event under such uh, great circumstances. And, and as we'll talk today, you know, I think that's really the essence of what we're, what we're gonna accomplish here today, is we're really gonna do some amazing things for the communities that, that we live in. So thanks for everyone who is in attendance here in Columbia Borough. And for those that are watching uh, remotely online, I think you know, a couple years ago, we would have never thought that we had to include that, but that's an important part of what we do. I'd like to recognize a couple of our community partners here today. Mayor, Mayor Leo Lutz is here with us, uh, Columbia School District Superintendent Ashley Rizzo, and the City of May Lancaster Mayo, Deneen uh, Sirachi. I'd also like to thank our, uh, our Board of Trustees. You know, I think when we started to imagine this opportunity over the last few years, uh, they agreed and committed to a significant amount of support that we are gonna offer to the community. It's gonna be over $50 million over the next 10 years that we're gonna use to abate lead from homes in the county of Lancaster as part of our Caring for Lancaster uh, commitment. This has been a longstanding part of our mission to improve the overall health and well-being of the community. I'd also like to give a special thanks to Alice Yoder and to the Penn Medicine uh, LGL, LG Health team for their work in putting this critically important program together. And to Joy Thomas Moore, Chair of the Board of Directors of Green and Healthy Homes Initiative, as well as Ruth Ann Norton, President of the Green and Healthy Homes, Homes Initiative, for joining us today on this important announcement. They've been an incredibly important technical resource for us as we put this together. And we heard, we heard we may be an important part of an announcement that will help expand this throughout the entire, uh, entire nation. So thank you, Ruth Ann. Finally, I'd like to thank Mary and Skip Hogan Toggler. Did I say that correctly, Hogan Toggler? Okay, I apologize for that. Uh, if I mispronounced it, for hosting us here today in this beautifully historic part of, of Columbia. You know, I think we're, we're at a home today because, you know, I, the, the initiative that we're talking about with lead, the home is really the focal point. And I think many of the things that we deal with, it's at, it's at work or it's part of what we do in, the, in, in, in our general life, but lead is one of those factors that is generally very specific to the home. So as part of our Caring for uh, Lancaster initiative, and we wanted, we wanted to make sure that we reach beyond just what we do, what we do in healthcare. And as you, as you understand lead, you know, lead is something that's ingested over a period of time, often by children and often uh, in their homes. So this, this initiative is specifically focused on addressing that, I that issue and doing it in a way that will um, free our communities or our community from the risk of childhood lead poisoning. And you'll hear a lot more about the, the long-term and really permanent effects that lead can have on all of our children. Our goal over the next 10 years is to abate at approximately 2,800 homes. So an incredible impact across all of the county here in Columbia and the city of Lancaster and across all the county so that ultimately we can eliminate this silent threat that most of us don't know about, but it's in the lead-based paint and other lead-based products that are in some of our older homes. So again, I, I'd like to thank all of you for being here today. Um, you know, this is just an important part of what Penn Medicine Lancaster General Health takes is our important commitment to caring for our community. And uh, I'm, I'm excited to, uh, to turn this over to Carolyn Scanlon. She's the chairperson of the Lancaster Board of Trustees. Thank you. Thank you, John. And thank you all for being here today. Uh, the Lancaster General Health Board of Trustees, its primary role is to assure that our not-for-profit health system is meeting its mission 
and in its mission, we clearly state advancing the health and well-being of the communities we serve. So we're really pleased to be able to be part of um, and, and, and supporting this initiative. The board feels so strongly about this mission that several years ago, it created a special board committee that focuses exclusively on Lancaster General's fulfillment of that mission and its work to enhance our community's health. It's from that committee and its work that the Lead Free Families was born. Our community-led Lancaster General Health Board my colleagues on that board and I are committing $50 million over the next 10 years to identify and remediate lead hazards in the Lancaster County homes, while also providing community education, increased lead screening of children and pregnant women, and support services for all impacted families. I'm really proud to be able to say that this is the first comprehensive lead-free homes initiative in the nation to be completely funded and led by a health system. The reason for this significant investment is clear. Lead poisoning is hurting, harming our children, far too many of our young children in our community, and it impacts them throughout their lives. Lead poisoning truly is a silent epidemic in our community. To be sure, it's by no means the only serious community health issue facing Lancaster County, and we all know what the last couple of years has brought us, but it is one that is profoundly damaging to both the individual and our community as a whole. It's important that we all know that lead poisoning is not curable. Once poisoned, you will always be impacted but we do know that it is 100% preventable. That's our goal with lead-free families, to save Lancaster County children from getting lead poisoning at home. We're also raising awareness in our community about the health risks of lead exposure. It is so very important to help families recognize this hazard and know where to go for help. Some of you may ask why we're focusing on removing less hazards from homes. It's simple, because the home is by far the place where the most lead exposures occur. Most lead exposure comes from peeling, chipping paint, and painted windows and doors. Lead is most commonly found in homes built before 1978, when the federal government banned the use of lead-based paint in consumer products. We do know that Lancaster County is one of the older counties in the state with a larger number of homes built before 1978. It's estimated that 45% of the households in our county have a child under the age of six or a pregnant woman living there. This makes our community's risks that much greater. As a mother, I know how important it is to keep our children safe. As a Lancaster General Health Board, I know how important it is to keep our community safe. That's why Lancaster General Health is working with many partners, such as the Borough of Columbia, where we are, and the City of Lancaster, to reduce lead as a health hazard in our communities. Together with local governments, school districts, and our community partners, we will work to educate more of our friends and neighbors on ways to identify and prevent lead poisoning in our homes. We all know it takes a village to build healthier and safer communities. That's what we're trying to do today and into the next 10 years. And now I'll turn it over to Dr. Michael Ruchinski, Chief Medical Officer at Lancaster General Health, to talk more about the health benefits of the Lead Free Families Initiative. Thank you. Thank you, Carolyn, and good morning, everyone. Lead poisoning is a silent epidemic. Pennsylvania has one of the highest lead poisoning rates in the nation. Lancaster County has the fourth highest rate 
of lead poisoning in the state. Given our situation here in the county, I want to first start off by thanking the Lancaster Lead Coalition, composed of Penn Medicine Lancaster General Health, UPMC Pinnacle, the Pennsylvania Department of Health, Franklin and Marshall College, and the City of Lancaster. This coalition has worked tire tirelessly for a decade to prevent, screen, and track lead poisoning. It raised the first alarm and worked with partners at Penn Center of Environmental Excellence in Toxicology, studied the issue, and promoted education and engagement of our stakeholders. As Carolyn said, there is no cure for lead poisoning. Once it's in your system, you can't get it out, and the mental and physical effects are irreversible. What is the most insidious thing about lead poisoning is that it hurts our young children, either through a lead poisoned mother or through their own exposure. Children ages six and under are most at risk as their brains are still developing during these formative years. So when lead gets into their bodies, they can suffer serious and lifelong health and developmental issues, including lower IQ, slowed growth, learning problems, behavioral issues, hyperactivity, and hearing and speech development delays. Pregnant mothers are also at risk because lead can accumulate in their body over time where it's stored in the bones alongside calcium. During pregnancy, that accumulated lead can cause low birth weight, premature birth, damage to the baby's brain, kidneys, and nervous system. It can also increase the risk of miscarriage. Most children with detectable lead levels in their blood have no obvious symptoms. That's why it's so important that every child between nine months and three years be tested for lead in their blood. We need more frequent and consistent lead blood screening programs for children and that is a key component of the Lead Free Families program. We will work with local healthcare providers to reinforce the importance of lead screening and increase our lead screening rates across the entire county. In fact, we appreciate the work done already here in Columbia through St. Joseph's Children's Health. The sooner lead poisoning is identified, the sooner we can bring healthcare and other resources to support children and their families. But perhaps, most important, we need to be worried about prevention. We need to prevent lead poisoning and recognize it as the greatest health threat to children in our community. That's why lead-free families will be conducting home lead testing throughout the county, identifying those homes with lead hazards and providing resources to help remove those hazards from the home. And we need everyone's help to make homes safe for children. Our local governments and schools can help by spreading the word about this critical issue and help us truly get the lead out in Lancaster County. I'd like to introduce Columbia's Mayor Leo Lutz for his thoughts on the difference lead-free families can make in Lancaster County communities like Columbia. Mayor Lutz. Thank you, Dr. Rapinski. And uh, I would be remiss if I didn't thank Penn Medicine Lancaster General Health for stepping up uh, and, and working on this most important issue. And, I, and I'm sure you're gonna hear more as, as time goes on here this morning and you've heard some things. I've asked our borough manager, Mark Stivers, the council president, Heather Morrison, and our safety chair, Ty Burgard, to be here today uh, because they needed to hear what's, what's being said here today. We need to step up and we need to do something about this. And for all you other folks, welcome to Columbia. We're thrilled to be part of this important announcement because lead-free housing is important to Columbia and our residents. Lead-free housing means safe housing. Safe housing keep our, fam our families safe and safe families help make safe communities. Lead-free families is a huge step forward in helping to make Lancaster County residents safe from lead poisoning. It's important to repeat that the program plans to do over the next 10 years, remove lead from at least 2,800 homes across the county. And here's some interesting t statistics for Columbia. Can you just imagine that 54.9% of the homes in Columbia Borough 
were built prior to 1939. And I'm going to be uh, conservative to say that more than 75% of the homes in Columbia Borough were built prior to the 1978 ban on lead-free paint. That's the enormity of this problem. That's a huge impact on our community, removing a major health hazard from thousands of homes and therefore making thousands of families safer and healthier. But Dr. Rapinski was right. We all play a role in helping to get the lead out of Lancaster County. And that's why here in Columbia, we're working to strengthen our housing ordinances to increase lead testing so that we can identify these homes that have lead hazards that need to be removed. We're working collaboratively with Lancaster General Health and are thrilled to be a community partner in the Lead Free Families Program. And I like to say here in Columbia, let's adopt this saying. Columbia, let's get the lead out. Thank you. And now I'd like to turn over to Ashley Rizzuto, Rizzo, our superintendent of Columbia School District. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor Lutz. I'm thrilled to be here today, not because we're talking about a serious health issue, but because thanks to Lancaster General Health, we're actually taking action to address this issue. Lead poisoning has a serious and irreversible impact on the brain, causing lower IQ, learning, and behavior problems, among other issues. I can tell you that we see the impact of lead poisoning on children in our schools, and not just here in Columbia. Schools throughout Lancaster County and Pennsylvania have the same concerning trends regarding lead poisoning. Far too many of our children are getting hurt every day by this silent disease. And the worst part is, we know we can stop it. Far too many of our children, I'm sorry, <laughs> we just need a concerted effort, both here and across the state, to truly get the lead out of our homes. These children grow up with the harmful effects of lead poisoning often suffering from poor academic performance. And we know that poor academic performance can lead to sometimes dropping out of school altogether. Studies show that eliminating lead as a health hazard can result in improved academic outcomes, lower education costs, better lifetime earning potential, and reduced risk of criminal behavior. We know what we have to do. I'm so grateful to Lancaster General Health and the Lead Free Families Program for helping us chart a path to a lead-free Lancaster County. And now I'll turn it over to Lancaster City, Mayor Deneen Sirachi for how lead-free families advances existing collaborative efforts to improve health throughout Lancaster County. Good morning, everyone. One of the most uh, basic building blocks of any community is its housing, and safe housing is absolutely essential to strong neighborhoods and strong communities. Today, our collective efforts to ensure safe housing in the city of Lancaster and across the county has just been elevated like never before. This is a game changer. What does it mean for the city of Lancaster? Well, it means that the Lead Safe Lancaster, our HUD-funded program serving four census tracts in the city, will now be working hand in glove with lead free families to ensure that all families in the city have access to the resources they need to eliminate lead poisoning. This is truly a public private partnership that collectively seeks to eliminate health and educational disparities, especially among low income communities of color, of which I am proud to be the mayor of a city that is uh, as Mayor Lutz pointed out, very historical. And with a historic city comes historic challenges, and this is one of them that we can meet. Further, this initiative that is being championed by Penn Medicine and Lancaster General will enable us to make some important changes to our lead hazard ordinance to seize this once in a generation opportunity. So on behalf of the city of Lancaster, I am proud to once again partner with Penn Medicine, Lancaster General, and yet another effort to improve the health of our community. Certainly our partnership during COVID was critical to support testing, contact tracing, and vaccination efforts. 
Yet this work is fundamentally different. It's a down payment on our children's future. It won't be measured by variants or mitigated by a vaccine. It will be measured by our children's success. So I want to thank the leadership of Penn Medicine Lancaster General, past, present, and future, for your enduring commitment to the city of Lancaster and its families. Together, we are building a stronger, more equitable Lancaster block by block. Thank you. I almost forgot the most important part. I get to introduce Mary, who is the homeowner, and we are, uh, thank you for welcoming us all to your house. I'm sure it's every day you have a press conference on your sidewalk. Mary, please. Thank you, Mayor, and welcome to my home. This house was built ne nearly a century ago and has been home to me and my husband, Skip, for almost seven years. And recently it became home again to my daughter, Kelly, and my grandson, Levi. There is nothing more important to me than the health and safety of my family. So when I learned that Penn Medicine Lancashire General Health was starting a new program to remove lead from older homes, I couldn't wait to sign up. Lead-free families came to my home and tested it for potential lead hazards. And sure enough, we did have a lead problem. It's scary because my grandson is only three years old. He has been tested and so far, he has not been tested. I mean, he has not, uh, he does not have ele elevated blood lead levels. And we wanna keep it that way. So we're working with lead-free families to get the lead removed from our home. We're lucky because we caught it early. I'm so grateful for Lancaster General for protecting our family from lead poisoning. I urge, you, I urge all Lancaster Countyans who live in older homes to get their homes tested and their kids screened for lead. Let's get the lead out of Lancaster County. Thank you. Thank you, Mary, and, and thank all of you for being here today. I, I, again, I, I, this is just such a momentous day for, for our organization. We appreciate all, all that, uh, the, the fact that everyone's here. Thank you again to the Board of Trustees for their support in this. Thank you to Alice Yoder and, and our staff and, and Green and Healthy Homes for their partnership. We couldn't have done this without all of that support. And I want, to I, I want to express my appreciation also to the school districts and to the municipalities that are here today. But I want to ask all of the, home, all of the school districts and, and municipalities to recognize this opportunity. And for the homeowners who may have have a home to recognize this opportunity. You know, this is an important part of our Caring for Lancaster initiative to advance the health and well-being of the community that we live in. I can't, we can't do this all on our own. And so my ask, my hope, is that what this does today is it inspires all of us to take the first step, to take that step to make Lancaster County lead free. Thank you. I think that concludes our, our formal presentation. Um, we'll be happy to stay after and answer any questions. Thank you again for being here today.